We're heading into the round of 16 of the World Cup. It's finally going to start getting interesting. And that's not to say it hasn't already been interesting. We've seen Germany get grouped because of a very controversial Japanese goal. I'm still torn, to be honest, but let me know what you think in the comments. Was it a goal? Belgium also got grouped after Romelu Lukaku missed, well, I don't know how many open goals. I lost count. That was the excitement, though. There was also several nil-all draws, and now we're on to the knockout stages. It's rather you win or you're out. There are no more draws. This is my round of 16 predictions. The Netherlands versus the USA. And go back to my World Cup prediction. A certain young Irish man told you Cody Gakpo would be the Dutch's best player. That certain young Irish man is me, and I am an absolute genius. But don't take everything I'd say too seriously because I also said France would get grouped. Despite Polish just going off injured after scoring his goal versus Iran, it looks like he will play versus the Netherlands, and that is a boost for America. Sadly, it won't be enough. 10.4% of my viewers are from the USA, so I might lose a few subscribers, but the Dutch are going through to the quarterfinals. They're going to win this game 2 0 thanks to a goal from Cody Gakpo and Frankie de Jong. Argentina versus Austria. Australia. There was the failure of saying France would get grouped, but a positive that came out of that is I said Australia would finish second, and I look like an absolute genius, just ignore the France part. You're looking at this Australia team, they've done good to get this far, but they're not getting any further. They're up against Argentina, and although they didn't start off great, losing to Saudi Arabia, they've improved. Australia's best player, you probably say Aaron Moy, who currently warms the bench at Celtic, while Argentina's best player just happens to be the greatest player to ever live in Lionel Messi. Man for man, every time you favour Argentina, and I do love an upset, but I just don't see it happening in this game and Argentina are going to win this game 3-1 thanks to two goals from Lionel Messi and one from Julian Alvarez. France versus Poland and here's my public apology to French football. I thought you were going to get grouped. Well, no you didn't. You topped the group by match day two. I just thought the injuries France couldn't handle with Nkunku, Benzema, Pogba, Kante, all these top players that and also the fact France have been terrible for about six months. I tried to be different and you have to respect that but from now on I'm going basic. France are going to win this match. They're the clear favourites and well I don't like to go different anymore because you'll just end up looking like an idiot. Poland will take the lead thanks to a Lewandowski penalty but France will get two goals back thanks to Griezmann and Mbappe and they will win the game 2-1. England versus Senegal. England were hit and miss in the group stage. A good opening performance versus Iran. They were terrible versus the USA and then a good solid game versus Wales winning 3-0. England have had a few standout players at this World Cup but unironically I honestly think Harry Maguire has been one of their best players. He's been fantastic. Really solid at the back. I don't rate Gareth Southgate as a manager but if he's not able to beat Senegal who do have a few good players but compared to this fantastic fantastic England squad, they don't stand a chance. Provided a Gareth Southgate disaster class doesn't occur, England should be going on to the quarterfinals. I reckon they'll win this game 3-1 and Harry Maguire will get on the score sheet. Japan versus Croatia. How are either of these teams still in the World Cup? Japan are saved by millimetres versus Germany. Had they not scored that goal, Germany would be playing Croatia in this game. But fair play to Japan, two massive results versus Germany and Spain and they probably deserve to go to the knockout stages. While with Croatia, no real fault of their own, but how did Romelu Lukaku not score in that game? Lukaku was punching windows after the game, it was the first time he hit the target all night. Japan beat two of the best teams at the World Cup in Germany and Spain, but they also lost to Costa Rica, so I really don't know. They are a good team, but will they be able to do it versus Croatia? They will be able to do it versus Croatia, but they will also be mashed by Croatia. This game will be a one-all draw, it will go to penalties, and Croatia will go through on penalties. Morocco versus Spain, and you have to say fair play to Morocco, topping a group with two of 2018's World Cup semi-finalists. And they could be potential dark horses for this World Cup, maybe get to a World Cup semi-final, and that's a big maybe because, well, they're getting knocked out in the round of 16. They're not beating the Spanish side. Yes, they did lose to Japan, but they weren't really trying, were they? The problem with Spain going into this World Cup was their lack of goals. Alvaro Morata is currently the joint top scorer at this World Cup, scoring in every single group stage game. Morata will continue his streak. He's going to score in this game. In a 2-0 win for Spain, he will be joined by Pedri on the score sheet. Brazil versus South Korea. To be honest, I still don't know how South Korea are still in this World Cup. How Uruguay didn't get a penalty versus Ghana is beyond me. Brazil were supposed to be everyone's favourite. Everyone was getting excited about them. I was getting excited about them. In two group stage matches, I predicted them to score four goals. In two separate matches, they didn't score four goals in the entire group stage. There is the saying, you don't want to peak at the wrong time. And obviously, Brazil don't want to be at their best in the group stage. They want to be ready for the knockout stages versus the better teams. But if they play football like they currently play, and they might lose this game. Brazil's final group game was a surprising loss to Cameron. The first goal they conceded in the entire tournament didn't make a difference to the group. However, as Brazil still topped it. Even though the Brazilians aren't at their best, they're still going to win this game because they have the individual quality alone to get past South Korea. I reckon they're going to win this game 2-0 thanks to goals from Vinicius Jr. and Richarlison. Switzerland versus Portugal. Switzerland just about now second place in the group. Who's really surprised though? I'm not anyway because well I predicted them to finish second. They have a good team. They have some good individual quality and they do have the firepower to beat Portugal and I reckon they will throw a challenge but I have the dream of a Ronaldo versus Messi final. They are on two different sides of the bracket. So as long as it's possible I will do everything possible. I will be very 
unbiased to say I want that Messi versus Ronaldo, Portugal versus Argentina World Cup final. And I do think this game will be close. It'll be 1-1. One, one. It'll go to extra time, but it won't go to penalties. Cristiano Ronaldo will save Portugal, send them through to the quarterfinals with a 117th minute winner. So that was my round of 16 World Cup predictions. I do apologize for it being late, but with the round of 16 games being the day after the group stage games finished, I had to do it. Thank you all so much for watching the video. It is really appreciated. Make sure to leave a like if you did enjoy. Subscribe if you are new, and I'll see you in the next one.